In the office, interior communications electrician Brian Tenike is a typical sailor working to support the mission. But in the gym, IC1 uses a unique approach to maintain a culture of fitness. After nine years in the Navy, how did he discover what he calls the key to lifelong fitness? There was a guy doing CrossFit. I didn't know what it was. I thought he made it up, actually. I thought he kind of just uh, made something up called CrossFit. And what he did is uh, he told me a little bit about it, and then we put me through a workout. And after the workout, I knew that any workout that could, that could kick my butt like that, after being a wrestler, jiu-jitsu, MMA, uh, that's really what I want to be a part of. And I like the fact that the workouts, you know, were about, they're roughly around 15 minutes a piece, 15 to 20 minutes. So I didn't have to spend an hour and a half in the gym getting a workout. And after I was done, I felt like I accomplished something. That's the biggest part about CrossFit to me, is the fact that when you're done, you feel like you accomplished something. Some people in the military do say that this is dangerous. And uh, any physical activity you do has some inherent danger to it, whether it's football, basketball, rock climbing, just normal lifting all has inherent danger in it. Where people get injured is when they don't have the proper training and their egos get in the way. Although CrossFit may not be for everyone, Tenike challenges you to push your limits while working out. Anybody can go to the gym, sit on a lawless machine for, for an hour, but it takes a certain kind of heart to get in there and know what you're capable of and push that envelope every single time you go in. Reporting from Naples, Italy, I'm Petty Officer Mark Rockwell-Pate.